Hey, what's going on? We're going to make an infinite marquee today, but it is going to be the best one that you've ever seen. And I'll tell you why. The reason is because it is completely responsive and adapts to the screen without us making any changes to any interactions. It's 100% HTML and CSS. So it's very easy to implement. Go ahead and unhide here. Nope, it's not the marquee element, which is deprecated on the uh, Mozilla Docs, and if you scroll down, they give you a nice little demo here. Just th shout out to uh, shout out to the marquee tag, but we're not going to be using that. It's not one of my own no-code tools, which has a scrolling marquee built in GSAP. I'll release this in a later video. Just a fun project to learn more about animations. It is a modern approach uh, that I got from Ryan Mulligan's blog here. I adapted it slightly just to fit our needs in Webflow. So that's in my Ultimate Webflow resource library right here. Link to that is going to be below. All right, let's build this thing. So I've got a Webflow project here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete the marquee and delete this HTML embed. Let's go ahead and clean up our styles so that we're back to a blank project. OK, first thing we want, we need to start chucking some div blocks in here. This one is going to be the first. I'm going to call it marquee. And then inside that, we're going to have two div blocks called marquee content. But I'm just going to build one for now. And inside of marquee content, I want to throw whatever it is that I want to be in there. So let's put these little logos in there. A lot of times I like to see uh, people put their logos of the clients that they work with and that sort of thing. Let's go ahead and copy paste this one, drag it over here, copy paste this one, drag it over here. Great. Now let's style marquee and marquee content. So marquee, coming back over here to my library, the big keys are display flex and overflow hidden and the gap of one one RAM or whatever you want to set this to, uh, whatever you want. But it has to match what's down here. Anyways, let's go back. We will set marquee to flex. And we're going to set overflow to hidden. I will show you why this is important in a minute. We're going to make two of these marquee contents. I'm going to copy paste it. Now, this doesn't look very good right now, but we're going to clean that up. Let's go back to the guide here. Flex shrink zero, display flex, space around, min width 100%, and gap one rem. So display is flex. Still doesn't look good. Sizing zero, this is that. Um, that's what's taking care of this flex shrink zero here. Let's go to justify content to space around. Min width is going to be 100%. And what else? I need the gap on there, one rem. So let's put a gap of one rem or whatever you want. I'm going to put it on the marquee as well. OK, and our HTML is set up how we're going to need it. You'll notice if I don't have this overflow hidden on, then we get some horizontal scroll, which we don't want. So I'm going to leave that on. Now all I need to do is take this animation code and have the keyframes, which is called a scroll. And I'm adding that scroll animation name to a class called scroll. So let's copy this, come back to Webflow. I'm going to use a embed. Just put that at the top of the page here, open up some style tags, and drop that code in there. Copy paste this scroll. You'll notice right here in the calc, we're taking negative 100% minus one rem. This one rem needs to match whatever your gap is. So let's save that. And on marquee content, we're just going to add this class of scroll. And it's only scrolling the first one right now, but we need to scroll the second one. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's going to start scrolling. Now they're off sync, but if I just press preview, then they'll be back in sync. And now we have a working infinite marquee. Let's go ahead and wait and make sure that it works. I forgot where we were, but I think we'll give it one more. And we're going to assume that we're good there. If we you know, shrink this up, then it's just going to slow down. I haven't seen any skips. We don't have to go into interactions or anything and change that around. Let's make this look a little cuter. Just going to give it a background color on the marquee. Oh, that's text color. Does anybody else do that all the time? I'm always finding myself do that. Add a little padding here. Great, and that looks good. Now, something else to show is if we make another marquee, these don't have to be images. These can be text. So let's go ahead and drop some text in there. Let's say you want to put some super cool text. Uh, let's make this, I don't know, 5EW, something that looks a little better and make it bold. And I'm going to delete this second div for now. Let's get some Nietzsche Ipsum. I want a different ultimate battle victorious. I'm cool with that. Copy that. 
Come back in here, paste that, Let's give a unit list line height. And I'm just gonna have that one text block, but now if I copy this marquee content, let's duplicate it, preview, you're gonna see it's just gonna scroll. So look at that, you can do it with text, you can do it with images, really easy. Um, just a couple lines of code, you could drop this directly in, but that's all you gotta do to get an infinite scrolling marquee that is completely responsive and adaptable. All right, catch you in the next one, bye. Yeah.